All right, I got a 2020 Dodge Durango and I'm doing a trailer brake controller <coughs> uh, on it. Uh, the dealership has already put the seven way wiring on it. That's what this kind of rat's nest is under here. So anyway, it's got the seven way plug. So, it, you know, that it, it was not tow equipped from the factory. <coughs> um, so yeah, seven way wiring. And then this one is just gonna be kind of loose for the trailer brake I'll put back to the seven way plug uh, started by pulling getting a bunch of wiring diagrams and stuff uh, got this one um, this fuse 11 30 amp fuse in the underhood fuse box that's the power if it had the factory trailer brake controller um, this didn't even have a plug under the dash for it so First of all, verified that was the fuse found where it was under the fuse box. Just put a pigtail in there um, so I can use that. And then, let's see, I'm going to run that under the dash. And then I'll have to tee into the body control module. There's a brake light output. Uh, kind of hard to see in the diagram here. But anyway, I'll try and get a better picture. But uh, I'll have to tee into the uh, body control module now. Grab a quick video of that when I get underneath the dash. All right, so here's that wiring diagram. Um, brake signal one from the body control manual, control module. Um, I gotta find it under, it's in the right kick panel. I gotta find it yet, but that's, you know, connector C4, it's telling me it's gonna be wire 18. I gotta verify that yet. But um, if you just follow it, if it did have the factory um, trailer brake underneath the start stop button. This has got the push start stop. Um, so that this would be, I'm sorry, right there. That would be, you know, your, your module underneath that start stop button. You know, with the slider and all that. Um, then another module. Like I said, that does not. This vehicle is not equipped with anything. Had to have the seven way wired in and the hitch put on. Um, so yeah, like I said, I already, already tapped into that Fuse 11 30 amp where the factory trailer brake control would be. All right, so now I'm under the dash. Found the body control module. It's way, this would be your glove box in here. Might not have to take it out. I got big clumsy fingers, so I couldn't get up to the connector. Um, it's actually gonna be this first connector up underneath there, verified I got the connector down, verify that that is the trailer brake, not trailer brake, I'm sorry, That it's the brake signal into the body control module, that's a 12 volt. Um, you cannot do it right off the pedal because the pedal's kind of like, I'm gonna call it a potentiometer. It's got a very, from what I read, I didn't test it, but it, it's got a variable voltage signal. It's not gonna be a on off, 12 volt when you're on the brake versus, you know, if you're watching this video and you're doing it yourself, you know what I'm talking about. You're either on or off 12 volts. Okay. So let's see if I can zoom in on this thing. Um, if you can kind of count, you can see my orientation. I got the pin in there right now off of my voltmeter of where it's got to get tested. It looks like you got three big ones up by my thumb here on the bottom, and it looks like it, then it's the third small one in. Um, and it was a green wire with a white tracer. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I gotta run all my wiring in here from under the dash and you know, wire that trailer brake controller in and stuff. Like I said, I got big clumsy fingers. I couldn't get, get this connector down. Um, still need to tee into it. I might take the rest of the wiring down just so I can get it, strip it back a little bit in the loom here and, and get it looking nice and stuff. So, um, just a second here, got some paperwork. I can kind of show you where, uh, okay. These are the instructions from the seven way plug. I got these off the internet. The dealer, the vehicle's bought used, dealer already wired wired in that seven way. Um, this is your body control module. So it's actually plug D is what I'm going after. That's the C4. Okay, sorry, a little hiccup. Okay, so like, uh, body control module, uh, number D or letter D, I'm sorry, letter D 
Um, that's going to be the connector C4. That's going to have. Uh, this thing doesn't show, but in the previous thing, that that's your your trailer brake signal. Yeah, I can't get it to work. But anyway, that's your trailer brake signal. That's the green and white wire uh, connector C4 that I showed you underneath the glove box. Um, that's going to have your 12 volt in and out. Uh, like I said, I did verify. I got the voltmeter. Went and stepped on the brake pedal. I can go do it for you real quick. Let me walk around here. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Not too bad of a looking vehicle. It is Wisconsin winter. Uh, it is kind of salty and nasty looking. Okay, here we go. Push on the brake pedal. Oh no, it's gonna make a wire out of me. Oh, my ground wire fell off. Okay. Okay, I lied. My ground wire was hooked up. I just had to wake the module back up. All right, I'm on the brake pedal. Off the brake pedal. Uh, anyway, you get the point. That That's my signal. Um, let me do some wiring and then I'll, I'll quick get another video. I think it, I'm on the driver's side here. I'm gonna have to go up, you know, weasel it in there and not quite sure where I'm gonna mount this controller. Just noticing, uh, looks like a knee bolster airbag. Make sure you avoid that. Um, if it was equipped from the factory, it would be right here, have that little slider. So I don't think I'm gonna put it there. I might, I'll probably put it down here somewhere. I, I don't know, I'll see. I'll figure it out when I get there. But anyway, that should be basically, you, you can wire a trailer brake control module into these. Um, get on the forums, it says you can't. It's not the easiest thing. Like I said, I was not equipped with the plug, but I'll, I'll make it happen. So um, there you go. 